Y'all already know. Shout out to my baby. She always keep my jelly beans on deck. Here we put this engine back together. I got the bearings in the freezer. Show y'all we do this here. All right, people. All right, look. We're gonna do this. Try to do this quick. I won't hold y'all up. All right. So basically, what we're doing, we replacing the bearings in the in here. I already put the new ones in the freezer. And they've been in there. It's no time frame. They've been in there probably about um, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe 30. I went and did something else or whatever. But the most important thing is you have your crank with you. Okay, your crank with you. Make sure you got some gloves too. All right. So just know which way these bearings are going because you got to move fast. We got to heat the block up. And then we got to go grab the bearings out of the freezer and put them in cold. The block is hot. Bearings cold. They're going to cool together because it's a tight tolerance fit. Okay. So make sure you're paying attention to which way these direction these bearings go. Now these are the old ones, but I'm going to show you. So you already know. <clears throat> the seal goes on the out of this, okay? On the outside of this, all right? So you, that one's pretty easy. This one here, once we go get it, and, it's, and this is heated, this, this bear, bearing's cold, this ball's out, meaning it's gonna go in like that. So if it's going in like that, our crank, we gotta put it on like that. See that? And then slide it in, boom, all right? So make sure you got your orientation together so when you do this, you can do it because you're going to be moving quick because you don't want the block to cool down. You want the bearings to cool down. You want it, everything to go in cold and hot. Boom. All right. All right. So let's uh, move down out the way. Move down out the way. Let's start heating this block up. Remember, a piece of wood. Make sure you got some gloves, people. Okay. All right. Go grab these bearings real quick. Nice cold bearings. Remember, seal out like that. Take the engine, push it in just like that. See that? Seal out, press it down. Remember, balls out. We'll put it on your crank. It might be a little tight at first because it's cold, but it'll get it it'll going. Put it in there. Remember, balls out. Put your crank on in there. That's sizzling, baby. Baby. Now, you just want to let that sit and cool. Pull it. Let it just cool down. And then everything is going to tighten together after it cools down. All right, people. Getting ready to do the new um, piston and sleeve. Um, His part number. Hopefully, y'all can see it. Y'all can see that. If, you, if you're interested. Alright, now. Um, let me tell you. Alright, so I didn't really show y'all in the other video how to take this apart. It's really simple. On the sides. Where your, um, your pen going to go in. You can see that, hopefully. Um, yeah, hopefully you can see that. It's going to be C-clips. Like little C-clips in this hole and this hole. You just got to pick them out. Just use it like a you know straight pick. And you know you have to be careful though, man. Just getting them out. The best thing to do use is some tweezers. If you got some small tweezers that you can get and pull on it, and it pulls right out. All right. Now I'm gonna tell you, man. Get some extra one of these. See these little C, little C clips or whatever you want to call them. Get some extra one of these. Cause I'm gonna tell you, if one of these go flying, don't even look for it. Forget about it. Don't even look for it. Just grab another one. All right, that's why I always keep extra ones on deck. You know what I mean? All right, so look at that, all nice and shiny. It's nice when it's like that, right? All right. So remember, you see the little skirt? That's the exhaust side. All right, remember that. So we're doing exhaust. This exhaust port, exhaust side. See the skirt? It's gonna go in like that. Okay. So what you have to remember is that with this rod, the reds. See the reds? That's on the uh, exhaust side. So it's going to be like that. So when you open the motor, you're going to see the reds. Okay? So it'll be like this inside the sleeve. All right? So you have to remember that. Okay? All right. So, so what I'm first do is I take a little bit of 3-in-1. It don't matter what you got. Air tool, 
don't matter what you got, just what you're working with, just something, no WD-40, you know what I mean, but just, you just want to lube it up, alright, take your pen, okay, lube that up, alright, so that things just slide better, alright, now, wipe your hands, okay, wipe your hands, start with one C-clip, or clip, whatever thing, start with one, you want to put one in on one side, that way when you put this in, the pen will hit up against the opposite side, okay? You understand what I'm saying? So I'll start with one while I'm right here. So figure out which one you want to start with. I really don't think it matters. So I'm going to just start with this one, all right? All right, people, this is going to be, hopefully this don't get ugly, but I just like to go in. This is why I need my damn tweezers. Um, hold on, be right back. Let me see if I get my tweezers. I'll be right back. All right. Okay, people, I'm back. All right, these tweezers are nice because they um they got like this nylon tip on the end, so you won't maul up nothing. All right, but you can use your regular boys. Just be careful. Just be careful. All right. So pick your side. We're gonna go right here, okay? And position it in there. You gonna see little grooves in there. See what I mean? Little grooves in there. You want that C clip to go into the grooves, okay? See that? And I'm gonna tell y'all people. Keep your fingers on top of this, because if it go flinging, just go ahead and grab another one. All right, see that? So then, take these little tweezers, all right, position her down in there, all right. It's a little tricky, but you can get this, okay? Keep your fingers on there, all right? See, it wants to push back, that's why I keep my fingers on there. All right, now, so once I know it's up in that groove, then I kind of just push it down in there. There you go. Okay, so you get it down in that groove, right? And just push it on over a little bit. Just slide it on in. Boom, see that? And just make sure, snap, see that? See how it snap right into place there? Hopefully y'all can see that. It snaps into that groove. Reason being, so that way when we put this one in, all right, we want it to slide across and then hit up against that one like that okay just like that see that see I put that pen in there and now just slide oops slide across and hit that all right that's what we want okay remember saw side we want the reds like that in there okay just like that all right you want to get it in there you want to get everything lined up so that that Boom, go right in there just like that. See that? Make sure this is pushed down little enough. Alright? Wipe your hands. Because you don't want them little pins flinging. Alright. Same deal. Same dilly. With this clip. Get it positioned. Put your finger over that hole. I'm telling you. So you get it in there. Get it in the, the groove. Put your finger on that thing. And push it down. See that? Boom. Snap right into place. That's it, people. That's it. Just that simple. You want to make sure, make sure. I don't know if y'all can see that, but make sure you see them grooves in there, that that clip is in them grooves down there. That's, just make sure it's in them grooves. Once it, you know it's in them grooves, that's it. And I'll just usually kind of make sure, flick it a little bit to make sure it ain't going to pop out. That's why these tweezers are good with this nylon tip on it, all right? All right, people. So let's get to the motor part. But that's basically it, people. And see? It's like that. All right? All right. Now, let me pull this down some, make sure y'all in focus. All right. Now, we got our bearings in here. Our new bearings all in there. Nice and smooth. All right, what I like to do is take a little three and one, drop it down on them bearings in there. You know, just to wet his willy a little bit. Even the one down there, the front bearing. Just to get, get things swirling around. So we ain't putting things in really dry. All right, <clears throat> take our crank. I usually try to lube up. A little bit on the crank where the bearings gonna slide in that three and one 
air tool oil whatever you got no three no wd-40 no wd-40 all right all right slide the crank on in there boom smooth smooth as butter all right so you want to crank pull it make sure you pull on that crank because you want that crank all the way out all the way over all right now I already changed the, the O-rings and all this stuff. This pile of O-rings and stuff over here. So remember, it's two O-rings down in here. One down there, one there. I already changed them. So they new O-rings, okay? Make sure you remember that. Alright. Next, we're going to start with our piston and sleeve. I mean, our piston and sleeve. Um, I mean, our piston and sleeve. So put a little bit of lube down in there. Then I usually put some on the little rod that's connecting to. Then come on in there put the crank up top see put it in the back see that hopefully y'all seeing all that little wiggle wiggle get it on there see that see how it's on there cool all right now so that's in there take our new sleeve i like to lube it up a little bit you know just to get so sliding easier then i i put a few drops down in the inside there See that? Alright. Remember, pen right there. See that pen? Remember, that has to go in that slot right there. So, put it down, get it aimed in. And somewhat, because you'll know when you get closer. Now, I usually put this piston at the bottom. So, that way I've got to push that down. Okay. Now, the piston is on top of the piston. Give it a little wiggle. It fits right in there. See that? From underneath here. Wiggle it in there. That it fits in there. And make sure you aiming right to that pin down in there. Alright? Then push it right on down in there. Whoop. Bang. See that? Good to go. Look at that. I don't want to turn too hard because it's going to push it back out. But you see that? Oh, good compression. All right, nice, nice. Now, wipe that off a little bit. All right, so then we we'll start with our head, okay? All right, on our head, you see the dot? The dot means exhaust side, okay? So that means it's gonna be like that. But what we gotta put on first, we gotta put our shims on. Don't forget your shims. Put your shims on, the whole stack up that it came before. And with this particular engine, you got this sealing gasket, I think they call it, or something like that. Alright, but now what happens is you got to look here. Four screws, four screws, okay. So we got to make sure we had them that's lined up for them screws, okay. So that's pretty much lined up like that. Just like that, okay. Remember, dot, dot, in the back, in the back. Alright, dot in the back, dot in the back, shims is in there. We good to go. So look in there, make sure we good. Okay, good to go. Good to go. All right. Next thing, head. You can see the dot in the head. Dot goes to the back, just like that. Boo yeah. Then what I do is I take a pick just to line the holes up. See that? Make sure I'm lined up with the holes. Screws in there, people. I just snug them down. I don't want to put them in tight, okay? All right, cross pattern when you tighten these down. I'm sure there is a torque. I don't know it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is, but I just, I don't want to put the like quahitas on it, you know what I mean? I just, uh, uh. But you want to do it in a cross pattern way, okay? So we're going to start here. Good. That's it. Okay. That's good. Now, put the back plate on. Make sure the piston, it don't have to be at the top there, center, but you don't want it down like that. You want it up as far as it can go, just like that without pushing. You know, you don't want to do compression stroke, but just there is good. Take our, our back plate. Now, I already changed the O ring in this, so I already got new O rings. 
see that now this is the the, the rears is not so bad with this um but some engines it does have a cutout and you have to be careful not to just yank this off when the piston is bottom dead center you rip the sleeve off all right so put that on there oh wait hold on now i already did this but put a little oil on this o-ring okay because that's gonna make it slide in easier. You don't want the O-ring to, to roll on you. So just put a little oil on there. So when we put it in there, just snap right in place. Boom. Then take the screws. Start them by hand. Oops. Alright. Same deal. Crisscross. Snug them up. All right, take them down the crisscross pattern, okay? You know, He-Man strength on them, just snug them, that's it, okay? That's it, mm. Pressure sound good. You hear that? Yeah, all right, put that back, I put that back at bottom dead center. All right, slide that over to the left. All right, let's work on this car real quick. All right, next. So, y'all remember, I marked this here. That's the um, idle screw. Idle, go in there. So, it's the idle side, idle, just like that, okay? A little bit of three in one, just to wet our willy. I mean, that's all we're working with, all right? Slide that in there just like that. See that? Bang. That's all you want, all right? That's how I, see that? That's why I marked it. All right, then you take your idle screw. This is our idle screw. I changed these all new O-rings. Uh, all right, so we need our small screwdriver. So, okay, we put that in there. Start it by hand, okay? Easy breezy, people. And put oil on them O-rings because you don't want them O-rings to, to, to roll on you. All right, oil these, okay? Now, because I don't know what's going on, Everything's going back to basically factory settings. So I'm just going to make this flush. And see this is slide. But it won't come out. Because that's that idle screw is holding it. Alright. Put the go there. Alright. Next up. I believe that's me. This is our main needle holder. And the thing they call it. Full throttle needle or something. Alright. Oil on that O-ring. Alright. And that goes in on the side there okay remember these is brass so they don't take a lot this is seven millimeter they don't take a lot just a uh, little snuggage that's it okay these all new o-rings all right a little dabble all right all right flush Flush. We're going back to factory setting, baby. Okay. Now we do our main, I mean, our low speed needle. Just like that. All right. This one I'm going to leave just like this because I got to put the, just like that, so that it doesn't come out because I got to put the other, um, the holder on. But I want to first get our new rubber boot on there. That's part number. ES, if y'all can't see it. ES216323. Okay. Alright. So put a little lube on this so that it uh slide on a little bit a little easier. Alright. These can be tough. Alright, so we're gonna put it in. Remember, gotta go all the way down. Alright, there we go. Then we just get it over this. Pull it down. Pull it down, pull it down, boom. See that? Goes right in the groove there. See that? New rubber boot. Put our thing on there. Alright, so I kinda know where this is supposed to be positioned. Something like something like that. I'll figure this out once I get it in the car, but it's somewhere like that. Alright. Not not tight, just snug that up. Alright, then take this needle bring it on down flush just want it flush boom see that we just want it flush all right now 
So I'll take our fuel nipple. Make sure you got these two new um, crush gaskets on there or crush washers. All right, one go in the back. Oops, see, one goes in the back. One goes up front, like that. And we start it by hand. Hold it there, a little snuggy wuggy. We got new O-rings on our Venturi. Slap new Venturi in there. All right, now, let's go back to this. All right, see these halves? One half, the screw goes all the way through, okay? That's the one that's gonna be on this side of the engine, okay? And this half, it this screw goes into. It's gonna be this side. See the halves? See the two halves? And then the, they pinch down on the carburetor. So this one, put a little lube on it, that way it slides in nice and easy for you, okay? Gonna go on this side of the motor, okay? This, Push it down in there, okay? That's all you gotta do. Don't worry about straightening it out yet. We won't straighten it out, but just get it in there. This one, loop, okay? This one, take the screw out. This one gonna go on this side of the engine, okay? You just gotta push it down. That's why you use the lube, because you don't want them O-rings just to roll on you. All right, so now, try to line them up. Oh, oh, let's take this O-ring out. Try to line them up a little bit, so that when the carb go in, it ain't so bad. I recommend you take something plastic, something if one is off, you can like push it, see that? Push it, and push it. All right, that way when the carb go in, it'll straighten that out. Make sure you put that O-ring back in there. Okay. Take your carp. Just a little drool, dabble on there. Okay. And just slowly work it down in there. Because remember, it's another O ring down in there. Alright. See that? Now, look at that. Make sure that O ring, everything's flush. That O ring ain't pop out. And you're good. Okay. Good. Now from memory, this carb is like this, but you might need to set your carb up a different way, who knows. Alright, then we take our carb screw, slide it in, put your finger over this one in the back, snug, not tight people. Cool. That's it. I'm going to put a new glow plug in people. Give me one second. Alright, I'm back. You know this phone always ringing. Alright. So I'm gonna put this P3 in there. It's an eight millimeter box. Start it by hand. And nothing crazy, people. Just a, that's it. New exhaust gasket on there. We're gonna put a new exhaust gasket on there. A little bit of lube back there. To slide on easier. Boom. Cap and cap. Also a cap. Okay. Gotta find where my rubber band at. Oh here you go. Alright, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put this rubber band on here just temporarily right now. Then I'll always put like these little exhaust tubes with a screw on the end. Fuel line to cover up the fuel nozzle. Alright. Alright people, that's a wrap there. That engine is uh, completely rebuilt. Um, stay tuned for the break-in of it. I'm going to break this in on the Bones break-in fuel. And we're going to see what it's about. Alright, people. Hopefully this helps. Alright. So this is your man, Rajay111, people. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.